Welcome back to Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tazos, where today we are going to Terracar Keep here, so that way there we can actually beat the dungeon and the boss and complete our first temple. Now, before we head over there, there is one thing I gotta do just on the way there. We need to go find a certain scientist, but let's go get him real quick. There he is, surrounded by slimes. Let's go help this guy out. Oh, save myself here first, though. They were literally just standing around you, bud. You couldn't handle that yourself. After finding and talking with Nick the scientist, I got a book of beasts, which I can use to collect information on enemies by doing this. We just gotta smack them just like that. Now, smacking things with a book isn't the only thing you get from Nick the Scientist. After building his lab, you can also get some pretty useful items. So it looks like to me, you're able to either craft up some of these items that you'd usually give in the dungeons, which I can actually make the boomerang right now, which is nice because that stuns enemies. So I'll do that. So I can do the shovel now too. Dirty farming shovel used to till land for planting crops. So I could actually start farming now. And with the new items I acquired, I am much more ready for the dungeon. So let's go dive in and we get a key right off the bat. Let's get started. Oh, good. We got one of these rooms. This is nice. There we go. Oh, I like one shot these guys. Okay. Okay, let's try and smack this guy with my book here. There we go. Nice. And we got a glass grappling hook. Yeah, I think we can all agree books aren't the greatest weapon. Or are they? Wait, can I... Does book beat shield? It does. Book's more powerful than a sword, apparently. All right, cool. Hey, we got some chonky slimes. Hey, let's stay here. The fighting's a bit easier for me, rather than being on those conveyor belts. Looks like we need another key, though, to get any further here. So we're gonna have to backtrack a little bit and go to one of the other rooms, and hopefully we will get a key from it. All right, let's go up from here. What do we got? We got big walls, rats. Oh, oh, I got them. And I got a key, nice. Now, should I be greedy and go through the rest of this place? Of course I'm gonna be greedy and do that. There's nothing up here. Well, I risked all that for nothing. But at the very least, I got a key so I can continue the press on through the dungeon. Now, if we can find the next staircase down, I should be able to buy a shortcut down to the second floor, which will be awesome. Just have to not die. Oh, got some health. Nice. Doesn't look like the staircase is in this room here, though. Okay, let's wait for them to move so I can actually get down here. And... Wait... I'm too slow. Oh, speed up, speed up. I keep almost getting it, but the guy doesn't light it right away. There we go, I got it. Room cleared. Nice, lots of money. Now the question here is, where do I go? Ah, right here, there it is. Yeah, let's light these candles here. Secret door, nice. The overall, we are doing pretty good for the gems right now. Looks like we got a staircase down right there, which is awesome. Room is complete. Let's go ahead, climb up here, and make our way all the way down. Floor two. Let's buy our way down right here. Now we'll get more money, though things are going to be a bit more tougher down here, which is fine. Two extra keys. I will take that. Okay, the book does, like, no damage to these guys. And last jellyfish. Let's go ahead and pull all these levers that totally won't kill me. Oh, that one was a pretty lucky one. Nice. Another really lucky one. Awesome. Not a lucky one. Unless you consider bombs being lucky. Oh, that's not a great thing to walk into. Thank goodness I didn't die there. Oh, what's that? Okay, bombs. But it took care of a jellyfish for me, so I'm fine with that, I suppose. Oh, and I need to remember to step back. Oh, I really need... Okay, I gotta play like really safe here. Let's start using some of my magic weapons here. Come on, give me a little bit of health, guys. That's all I'm asking. Okay, we've got like a few left. All right, cool. That is it. Let's go light the last candle. I did not die, so that is awesome. Can't say the same thing for the next room, though. I don't think I'm going to last too much longer in here. But hey, at least we have a shortcut down to the next floor now, so that is always a plus. And we got a crap ton of money for using on skills, so not a complete loss. Need a little bit of health. We got lots of bushes here. Come on. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit. Oh crap, I thought I'd kill him faster. And he gave me a little bit too, nice. Let me just test. Okay, yeah. Got a chest anyway. I guess there's not one on the other side. Lots of money. And I almost got 2,000. We are rich. And we're basically at full health again. Nice. Those chests look a little different. Do I want to go open that? Am I going to regret this if I go up to those and try opening those? Not to mention that door has a skull on it. I get the feeling this is a trap and I'm about to die, but you know what? I want to test and see. Okay, it wasn't a trap. What about the other chest 
I was completely incorrect. All right. I thought for sure this was going to be some kind of a trap, but all right. I guess not. Lucky me. Oh, we got birdies. They're a lot further away than you think. Okay, good to know. Oh, that was a nice short room. All right, cool. All right, and way down to the next floor. I can buy the shortcut all the way down the here now. That is also just 400. Oh, we are almost to the boss. We could actually get there. So we definitely need a lot more damage. That is for sure. Oh, crap. I thought I was hidden behind the wall. Oh, I spoke too soon. Conveyor belts and combat <laughs> don't go good together. I thought we were going to make it all the way to the boss, but I guess that's a good thing. I do need to purchase a lot more damage. Let's revive... Let's go upgrade. So I ended up purchasing three points of damage, three in health, four in stamina, and I maxed out combat endurance. After this, I gone back to the dungeon for a short run, ended up dying pretty quickly, but ended up making almost as many gems, which I used for making Abigail's elixirs for a potion making, the farm, the dock house for fishing, buying a bottle for making potions, two more points of health, and one point of stamina recovery, then headed back to the dungeon. Now let's actually go ahead and complete this thing. I should be able to do it this round as long as I don't completely mess up. Okay, extra key. What do we have around us? Not a whole lot. Ooh, nice bright room. All right, bad annoying birdies. Bad annoying birds. Off to a great start. Okay, what do we have for doors around here? Okay, we got a locked door here and a locked door here. This is the boss room though. There we go, room cleared. We can go down below. I don't have a key, so I can't go the other way. And there we go. Wait, what? Oh yeah, those guys have that trail stuff there that you don't want to walk into. Oh crap, that's a snake. Man, I'm not paying attention now. Okay, don't look like we have any doors, but I did get a key so we can unlock the door in this room. That being said, I'm debating on if I should drink my potion or not. I'm just going to climb up here and take a swig of my potion. So many rats there, I'm definitely going to get hit a few times. And I can open this up and I can just craft myself a new one anyway. Yeah, we'll just go with the healing one again. Oh, really? Jump right down and immediately have one walk into me. Yeah, that rat is running around. Let's get rid of him before I walk into him. The room is cleared. Do we got any other rooms down below? Okay, this one is a puzzle. Looks like we got to get something right here. This thing? There's the reset switch down there. Okay, how are we going to do this? All right, I think I see how to do this now. So I push this guy down here. Then I want to push him over this way. Push him down over to this side and push him up. And then he goes into the light. There we go. Easy. I totally didn't stand around for 10 minutes trying to figure that one out. Okay, dual damage and lots of gems. Nice. Okay, we got a door way back here. All right. There's a new room. And it's a boss key room. Really? Gosh darn it. Okay, what do we have for doors around here? Okay, we got a locked door here and a locked door here. This is the boss room though. So basically, if I had just broken the curtain at the beginning of the run, we would have skipped the entire floor of the dungeon. I'm trying to remember how to do this because I did do this puzzle when testing the game. Place this here and let's grab this pot here. So if I remember correctly, you gotta chuck this at that switch. Then I think we gotta bring a pot with us and go on a teleporter. Okay, we can jump down to this teleporter now. And let's jump down here and then we gotta hit it again. And there we go, we got the boss key. That was easy. Let's go take a look up here. If it's too dangerous, I'm just gonna run away. Oh, it's another one of these rooms. There we go. Lots of gems and a key that I don't really need because I'm going to fight the boss. But I did get full health now, so that's awesome. And it is boss time. Let's go ahead and open up this door. Let's fight this guy. First boss. I do not know how to pronounce that guy's name. I'm not even going to try. Oh man, I keep running into the rocks. I need to pay attention to my guy. Okay, let's get in there, get a few hits in and run out. Okay, oh, I can get a few more heals here. Nice. And I walked right into a rock again. Okay, once his jaws start shaking, you got to kind of get out of there. Oh, I didn't get any healy bits from him there. That's a shame. Okay, he's going to start breaking the ground now. Oh. Okay, there we go. Let's get in there. Okay, halfway done. A okay, little bit of healiness, nice. And yeah, let's get in there. Okay, a quarter of the health left. Okay, what you gonna do now? Send your minions in. Oh, what's he doing? He pushed all of his guys off, nice. And there we go, we got him. First boss completed. And look at all those gems. Nice, let's grab all this stuff. Yeah, first boss. That was nice and simple. And we got a lot of gems to upgrade our guy. That is nice. Let's head on through here. Grab the chest. 
We got a grappling hook, which we can now use to get across gaps like that. Nice. And the nice thing is this one won't break on us like the one we usually get in the dungeon. So that is awesome. And now we are rich. Let us continue and let's go buy ourselves some new stuff. There we go. Terra Car Keep is now completed. Well done here. The Coal Op Terra, is that how that's pronounced? I don't know. That's how I'm saying it. Has been defeated. The Terra Car's power is fading. Nice. The next test lies to the west of Intori in the fetid depths of the Cremwell Swamps. There you will find the Wellstar Chamber, the second of the great dungeons. Beware. Even the ground itself can be perilous. Remember, a true hero is a hero to all those in need. All right, there we go. First dungeon is complete. Let's head on back down to town here real quick, which was this way. Now we can do a lot of upgrading. So for my upgrades this time, I put three points in attack speed, one in critical chance, three in attack up, four in increased magic, and the best of all, you can increase your book's damage. All right, I think I'm actually gonna start putting some money into that. Now we got a stronger book to bonk things with. Nice. Uh, yeah, with the very first dungeon out of the way, I think that right there is gonna be a good place to call it here for today. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to boot that like button. And until the next one, keep having fun, everyone. See ya.